How important is it to take mashwara with your shirk or ustad? And what are the consequences if one goes against his mashwara? Huh? Of course, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There is an Arabic proverb that says, the one who consults, he never fails. He never fails. If you consult, you never fail. Meshwara is not just a meeting. You take consultation. Who are you consulting with? Your buddy? Or your mother? Or your best friend? You're consulting with your shaykh. Who is that shaykh? When we consult with Shaykh Effendi, who are we consulting with? A friend of Allah. So whatever that he gives us is not an opinion. He's not thinking about it. He's taking it from higher stations to know what is the will of Allah and the will of the heavens, what is good for you, dunya and akhirat, and he gives. So how important it is if you have a shaykh to consult? Oh, if you have a prophet in front of you, alayhi salatu Don't you always want to be with him? If you cannot physically be with him, then be busy with what he's busy with. That is a sign that that one has the same characteristics as a Sahabi. Then if you're going to be busy with what he's busy with, and you want to do everything properly, then you will consult. Not to consult to say, what should I have for dinner tonight, a chicken or a fish? Not that kind of consultation. But consulting to see, am I going in the Sirat al-Mustaqim, going straight, or am I taking a deviation? How is my people go to doctor to check blood pressure? This pressure, that pressure. Consult with your Shaykh to see what is it that I have to do. In our way, we don't really have to. The Shaykh is just going to give it in the sohbet. No. You take what is in for you. It's a bit more adult. What is for you. Then when you're really stuck with something, especially three things, in the Naqshbandi way, divorce, marriage, marriage, divorce, and travel. You need to consult. That time it is uh, fars. But with everything else, the way that you consult is not just to ask. These days people don't even ask, they just text. But the way to consult is also knowing, okay, Sheriff Andy, what he says about this matter. There's a time you are going to go back into the sohbet, going to understand, going to digest everything, and the answer is already there. If the answer is not there, then you may ask directly. But the fact that you are going and trying to remember the sohbet, this is already consulting because at a spiritual level, you're already trying to connect with your shaykh. This is important. You are remembering. Understand? Inshallah, we understand. And when you get the consultation, when you get the advice from your shaykh, it is not good to go against it. He is not going to force you. He says, as you like. You do it like this or like that. But if you consult and then he says, this is better if it's like this, like this, but you decide to go against it, then the, uh, should we say, the results are not going to be so good. You understand? Wa min Allahu tafik al fatiha. Amin. As much as enough. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.